Hi guys, uh, on today's video, I wanted to discuss how sometimes we think a painting is complete when in its reality is it's, it's really not. It's, it's just not right. And uh, so the way this kind of came about was I was in my class, I teach a class on Saturdays, and I had a few of my students here. We were uh, obviously practicing our social distancing, uh, but anyway, we had had the class and um, and one of my students is working on a ocean scene. And I'm looking at hers and one of my pieces was right, it was very close to where her piece was. And the more I looked at my own piece, the more I was dissatisfied. I was probably never really satisfied with the composition. I used my photo references that I took in Miami, uh, off the beach in Miami of these turns, and I was working off those photo references. But in fact, uh, I wasn't really using my artistic license and perhaps I should have been. Needless to say, there was a wave in the piece that was really busting up my composition a little bit and decided, you know what, that wave's gotta go. So in today's video, you're gonna see that uh, what might have been a complete piece turned into uh, a piece in, in progress, let's just put it that way. So I did take the wave out and I will have to say that I'm a whole lot more satisfied with the current composition than I was with the initial one that I started. So. That's what we're gonna look at today. Again, thanks for joining us uh, and please subscribe. Okay, you see here, I'm sanding off the wave. The wave just wasn't right. It was interfering with my basic composition. So I'm, I'm taking a kind of a gray blue, you might say it's a C color, <laughs> blue and just covered over the entire wave. I'm adding a little bit of just some of the little dark values that go into the background of the wave. And I do want to make it recess a little bit um, to give them a little bit more depth to the piece overall. And I'm just kind of just adding a little bit of color here and there. You know, covering the wave wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. And I can tell you, I already like the painting better. I've lived with this painting for over a year. <laughs> And every time I'd look at it, I just was like, yeah, no, I don't like that wave. And I, I will say the the wave itself was actually quite pretty. And it was in the actual photo reference, that beautiful wave. But just because it was in the photo reference didn't mean I should have included it. As you can see, I'm just adding a little bit of maybe sea foam to the piece and just, you know, making it a little, a little bit more oceany, if you will. This, the photo reference was taken on uh, the South Beach in Miami and these turns were there and they were so cool. But anyway, this is, now I feel better about the painting and I'm liking it much, much better. Yeah, this will work. And here you see the before and the after. I don't miss the wave so much now. Um, I think it makes for a more effective composition for the piece. This was actually an environmental statement piece, if you will. The effects of a climate change has increased the amount of the sargassum seaweed, which trashed up the whole South Beach, not to mention all the human waste and trash that was left on the beach as well. Bottles, fishing line, etc. So here these birds have to uh, kind of contend with our mess, but I think they do a pretty good job since there was quite a few of these turns. Well, that didn't hurt nearly as bad as I thought it might. You know, the whole idea of taking that wave out, I really did like the wave. It just wasn't right for that particular piece. It was just too much. It was just too, it made the background too busy. So I took it out. So I hope you like the painting better. Uh, I definitely do. And I hope you will return and catch the next video. So thanks again for joining and uh, please subscribe. 